Dinosaurs are incredibly famous, and really it's no surprise that because of that fame, a number of myths have sprung up about them and you know, how they actually lived. Uh, one of the ones that make me, makes me grit my teeth a little is the idea that dinosaurs had butt brains, that they were so dumb that they needed a secondary brain somewhere in their hips to send messages to the rest of their body. I mean, part of this came from uh, early paleo discoveries of dinosaurs like Stegosaurus that really did have a brain about the size of a walnut. Uh, you know, there are other sauropod dinosaurs that have brains that were you know, no bigger than than uh, a golf ball or a tennis ball. Uh, so, you know, these were huge animals with very little brains. And when paleontologists looked to the hips of these uh, dinosaurs, they saw this expansion going around where the spinal cord would go. And, and some of them thought, aha, that's a place where obviously they had the second nerve center to help them communicate with the rest of their bodies. Well, it turns out that that's not true at all. Dinosaurs only had one brain. Even the biggest of the big, even the 110 foot long ones like Supersaurus just had the one tiny brain. That expansion in their hips is for something called a glycogen body. No one's entirely sure what it does. Modern birds have it. It might be something for uh, energy storage or to you know, help make more space in the hips to keep these animals light. But whatever it is, we know it's definitely not a butt brain.